Hi, this is Jeremy Lakeness with C Sharper Image, and today I'm going to show you a really quick tip for debugging Angular applications. And I'm going to navigate to Angular's own website, and if we view the source for the website, you can see in the source we've got ng controllers and so forth. So this is definitely an Angular application. Now it's easy in a lot of videos you may see the controller and the code and it's easy to step through exactly what happens when you click a button but I've had the privilege of working on a very very large application and sometimes you may be in a single page application where there are literally dozens of controllers and services and modules and so when you're troubleshooting it may not be as as easy as just looking at the code to figure out where things are. So I'm going to show you a very fast and easy way to figure things out. And what we're going to do is scroll down here where we have videos by topics and you can see as we click these different buttons it will filter the topics differently. So let's assume we had some issue with the button click here and we needed to troubleshoot it. So I'm in Google Chrome and I'm going to hit F12 to bring up the Chrome developer tools. Now I could either right click on this and inspect the element, that's one way that I can highlight this button, or I can use this magnifying glass and come out and select it that way. But what happens is that element gets highlighted and here you can see the element, you can see it has a class and you can see there's an ng click that does this filter by category. So I know this is the method that I need to look for. Well what's nice about Angular when you're running in Chrome is once you've selected this context you have access to the scope because the scope is bound to the DOM. So if I come into the console and type scope you're gonna see that that scope object is available. Now if I wanted to do this in another browser didn't have this interaction what I could do is basically use a document selector etc. And then I would just pass it to a function called angular element. So once you have a DOM element, and by the way, dollar sign zero is the currently selected element in the Chrome console, then you can just call scope like that and pick up the scope and you can see it's the same scope. So then what we do is we expand that and come down to the prototype in the prototype we've got this filter by category that's the method that we saw was called so now we can show function definition and now we are inside the source for the JavaScript for that particular function so I can set a breakpoint here and then when I click on this I'm immediately debugging where I want to be so this is a very easy and fast way regardless of how large your angular application is to quickly troubleshoot exactly where the source code is that's being activated when you perform a, a function and to debug into the code. Again, this is Jeremy Lickness. This is my blog, csharperimage.jeremylickness.com.